Jeg kan godt snakke dansk, eller en lille smule. Jeg har boet i Danmark sidste fire og år. Øhm, men jeg kan nok til at holde den oplæg på, på engelsk. Det er lettere for mig. Og, men hvis I har nogle eventuelle spørgsmål, øh, I gør det bare. Øh, og så kan jeg hurtigt prøve at sige, hvis jeg kan svare på dansk eller engelsk. Eller, og det er det bedste og bedst. Øhm, jeg vil lige starte med at sige, hvem her ved, hvad supply chain management er. Øh, som bund og grund. Bare løfte hånd, hvis det er. Godt, uh, hal, hal. Um, so supply chain management is basically the study uh, of different organizations that get together to deliver a good, a service or a process from point A to point B. Um, a good example of a supply chain is actually what is being going on here in Folkemod. You see me and all of you, we had to get here at somehow, right? And a lot of us took basically the train the bus, the ferry, or <laughs> maybe a combination of all of them and uh, I think things more. Um, and the integration of each of the, of the operators of those transports means that they need to get together in order to all the schedule be tied up so we can get here. So DSP had to have a train from 9 o'clock arriving at the ferry at 9.58 so the ferry could go and come here and then the bus is going to be waiting for us to take us directly to Alinea and then you're going to walk and, well, see whatever you feel like it. Um, what I wrote about is also about integration. It's also about uh, how you can actually take some actors within a supply chain, which is definitely not transport, is not people, uh, to deliver something better to the community. Um, my case is in Novozymes. Uh, Novozymes, as some of you know, produce enzymes, which is not the most sexy product ever, and a lot of us probably, at least I didn't, know uh, what you can use enzymes for besides in the consumer use. It's mostly industrial chemistry. So what I'm going to try to do now is uh, I'm going to tell you a bit of a story, uh, and I'm going to use that story to say what I did with, uh, with my thesis. So imagine now that you are the owners of Tom's Chocolat, I think everybody's familiar with that. Um, but not today, uh, about 50 years ago. Back then you sold probably 100 chocolates a day. Uh, and you produced that on your own kitchen with your father or your mother. And then you sold in the entrance of your house the chocolates to Jens Ole or whatever other <laughs> Danish name you have. It. Um, and it was quite simple. It's a one-to-one -one transaction, right? You produce your chocolate there. It's nice. Somebody else comes in and buy it. Um, until then, it's, it's fine, but let's just guess that your chocolate is really good and everybody wants to buy it and out of a sudden you figure out that there is a huge queue in front of your house and you don't manage to produce your chocolates and sell it. So what do you do? You call some supermarkets and they start selling for you. So now you don't have the people in front of your house, but they go to the supermarket. It adds a bit of complexity because now you have to transport your chocolates to different places. That's fine. But imagine that you get even bigger. Now you cannot produce your chocolate only in your kitchen, you basically have to build a factory. You have to hire people, and now you cannot buy the chocolate powder or the sugar or anything else basically on the supermarket. You have to buy somewhere in Africa. You have to have some people that actually are suppliers in England or anywhere else. Out of a sudden, the complexity got really large. You have to have those guys delivering the powdered chocolate at the right time into the factory so the factory can produce the chocolate, which will be transported to the supermarkets so you can buy it by the end of the day. My firm, uh, well, the firm that I wrote for is Novozymes, not Tom's Chocolat. And I'm going to be looking at Tom's Chocolat factory, Novozymes, into the supermarkets, which is actually the customers from Novozymes in this aspect. The problem that they have was that Novozymes, as Tom's, distributes to a, lot of to a lot of supermarkets. And each supermarket buys more chocolate or less chocolate. And you need to figure out which are the best supermarkets for you. Which are the ones that you should invest more in the relationship, which ones are the most profitable and the less profitable, and thereby which ones you're going to invest and deliver more extra services to. Novozymes, uh, when, I, when I approached them, they had the problem that they deliver uh, a specific black box that makes you perceive how you, um, how you consume their products uh, in an everyday basic. So basically, imagine that you have 100 chocolates that you sold to the supermarket, and every day that the guy is running out of chocolate, he gives a call to Tom's and says, hey, please come and deliver more chocolate. That's the same principle in, in Novozymes. The guys call in and say, hey, deliver more enzymes. 
sometimes this can be really problematic because we're not talking about a hundred chocolates, we're talking about a couple of million Danish kroners. So when this happens, Novozymes wants to have a little black box in the customer place that sends a signal to them automatically and then makes them pre-order everything and send it over. So they don't lose the production and Novozymes has a, a, a higher lead time in order to deliver everything that they need. Well, my thesis was about this black box. Uh, I needed to figure out how much it cost for Novozymes to implement the black box into each of those supermarkets. How much would it take for them to do it into different places? And then finally, which supermarkets they should deliver this black box to in order for them not to lose money and neither the supermarket invest too much energy in something that was not. How I did that, I took a three-step process. For the first of all, I looked into this black box and I say, okay, in Novozymes, who actually is responsible for the black box? Who is the responsible for the processes to call in the supermarkets, for going forward with the entire thing? And then I mapped, took a lot of pictures and sent it to them. The second thing was figure out the costs. How much it cost for Novozymes overall as an institution to deliver this service to each of them? So if it cost 500,000 for them to go to a supermarket and deliver the black box and the, bu and, uh, and the supermarket buys from you 600,000 a year, then maybe it's not worth it, right? Because you cost a lot of money just to deliver that extra service. But let's say that they buy for 5 million, then maybe it's worth it. So I had to build an, uh, an Excel model, uh, which was dynamic and would allow them to incorporate all the data that they had from their customers and at the same time generate some parameters together with them that would give back an answer saying, deliver the black box, don't deliver the black box, only deliver the black box if the guy is nice or, or something like that, you know? Because my thing was not only about cost, it was also about looking into the each of those supermarkets or the customers and see who of them do we actually believe that will be our, uh, our customers in the future. So that means uh, I can have a nice relationship with the guy right now and he buys 100 chocolates today, but he might buy five chocolates tomorrow. And if I don't perceive that that's gonna change and I out of a sudden I invest a lot of amount of money on them, that can go downhill at some point. So what I did was basically this escalation. By the end of the day, uh, Novozymes managed to save a couple of million um, kroners and they're doing so uh, because they, did, they uh, applied the solution. And um, that's basically it. Um, if you have eventual questions, uh, you might shoot them and then I can be a little bit more technical on what I wrote. Because it's of course not about chocolates, it's not a black box, it's an IT solution uh, which actually delivers from one place to the other is uh, between ERP and ERP systems. So, thank you very much. <laughs>